During the second month of pregnancy, the fertilized egg implants itself in the lining of the uterus and begins to develop into an embryo. The embryonic stage begins at the end of the eighth week and lasts until the end of the tenth week. At this point, the major organs and body systems begin to form and the heart begins to beat. The embryonic period is a critical time in the development of the fetus, as it is when the major structures and organs begin to form. Please support us by subscribe to our channel and like share the video. Baby Development At this stage, the embryo is about the size of a pea and is composed of three layers of cells. The inner layer, called the endoderm, will give rise to the respiratory and digestive systems. The middle layer, called the mesoderm, will give rise to the muscles, bones, and blood vessels. The outer layer, called the ectoderm, will give rise to the nervous system, skin, hair, and eyes. It is also during this time that the placenta, the organ that will nourish the developing fetus, begins to form. The following developments occur in the fetus. The face begins to take shape, with the eyes, ears, and mouth forming in their proper positions. The neural tube, which will eventually become the brain and spinal cord, begins to close. The limb buds, which will eventually become the arms and legs, start to form. The heart begins to beat and pump blood, and the blood vessels begin to form. The digestive system starts to form, with the formation of the esophagus, stomach, and intestines. The lungs begin to develop, and the fetus starts to produce hormones that aid in lung development. It's important to mention that even though the development of the fetus is advancing rapidly, the mother usually doesn't have any physical signs of pregnancy yet. The first prenatal visit usually happens between the 8th and 12th weeks of pregnancy, where the doctor can confirm the pregnancy and also check the development of the fetus. Change mother can observe. During the second month of pregnancy, the mother may not observe many physical changes as the fetus is still very small and the pregnancy hormone levels are not yet high enough to cause noticeable symptoms. However, some women may experience the following changes. Fatigue Nausea Breast tenderness Spotting or cramping Mood swings. Increased urination. It's important to note that these symptoms can vary from woman to woman and some women may not experience any symptoms at all. How to care yourself during the second month of pregnancy. Caring for yourself during the second month of pregnancy can help ensure the health and well-being of both you and your developing baby. Here are some tips for caring for yourself during this stage of pregnancy. Eat a healthy and balanced diet. Eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean proteins can help ensure that you and your baby get all the necessary nutrients. Take prenatal vitamins. Taking prenatal vitamins can help ensure that you and your baby get all the necessary vitamins and minerals. Get enough rest. Getting enough rest can help reduce fatigue and stress, which can be common during pregnancy. Avoid alcohol, tobacco, and drugs. Avoiding alcohol, tobacco, and drugs can help ensure the health and well-being of both you and your baby. Exercise 
light to moderate exercise can help improve your overall health, reduce stress and help you prepare for labor. But it's important to consult your doctor first before starting any exercise regimen, to make sure it's safe for you and your baby. Practice Stress Reduction Techniques Stress can be harmful to both you and your baby, so it's important to practice stress reduction techniques such as yoga, meditation, or deep breathing. Attend prenatal care appointments. Attend prenatal care appointments as scheduled by your healthcare provider. This can help ensure that both you and your baby are healthy and that any issues are addressed in a timely manner. Keep in contact with your healthcare provider. If you have any concerns or questions about your pregnancy, don't hesitate to contact your healthcare provider for advice and guidance. It's important to remember that every pregnancy is unique and what works for one woman may not work for another. So it's important to consult with your healthcare provider to develop a care plan that is right for you and your baby. Please like share and subscribe our channel and support us.